Shabbat Shalom. This is GMS Louisiana Saints with another Shabbat lesson. But before we get started, as always, we give praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who ruled in Tichwa. In peace, in peace, you can see I came out there pushing this word of truth and sincerity to the four corners of the world. May you brothers and there until the end. And with this Shabbat lesson, we're just going to get into current events. And you've got a uh, popping off over the land of Israel right now, clashes and rocket attacks. Of course, you've got uh, the, this fuel shortage, this gas shortage going on right now with some places running out of gas, runs on the gas stations, talks of food shortages like a chicken shortage, a water shortage, you name it. And hey, Abu Rabtazah, this gas shortage continues and leads into the much bigger fuel shortages and other uh, plagues. We definitely know that we're getting to the time of these end times plagues and pestilences and famines and conflicts are going to be right in you people's faces. And at the end of the day, you're going to realize, but even though it's going to be too late, the men of the Lord told you these things, but again, it's going to be too late and you're going to have to get how you live in that day. Starving to death, getting killed, and going to a concentration camp, dying from some pestilence, getting drafted into war. Nothing good is coming to this place. As it says in Ezekiel chapter 3, this is a book of lamentations, mourning, and And also in Ecclesiastes chapter, that there's a time and a season for everything, a time for peace and a time for war, a time for love and a time for hate. And we're in the times of hate and war and death and destruction. Let's start off in chapter 16. Bible chapter. Oh, okay. 16, uh, second Hedges, second Hedges 16, 5. It says, Plagues are sent unto you, and what is that they are delivered? Let me read it again. So, Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away from us? Kind of says, and plagues are sent unto you. The C19, and possibly this gas shortage, and the wars and rumors of wars, and the jab, the you name it. And it says, what is he that may drive them away? That's, that's a cool question. Nobody's going to be able to uh, avert these plagues from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shachem. As it says in Isaiah 55 verse 11, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and the things that will be accomplished are all these, all these terrible calamities that you people are about to be busy with. For your great pride that you've been walking in, chiefly two thirds of the nation of Israel and you Edomites. Says, may, may any man drive away hungry lions in the woods? Question mark. Or may any man, may anyone quench the fire in in stubble when it is begun to burn? Question mark. Con. You know? Con. 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 Hey, all all rhetorical questions. No. When, when a hungry lion's on your ass, like he's like, going to be on your ass, unless Yahweh is dealing with you in that day, you're not going to get away. And as I said, uh, can one quench the fire in the stubble? And we can see what's been happening in California. That fire can't be quenched. And it's going to be no different, different pestilences and plagues and death and destruction that's coming to you people for your pride. Actually, could somebody get me a... Uh, kind, kind. Could somebody get me a... Uh, Second Ezra's chapter eight verse fifty, Baba Kashan. I'll get it. This is the book of Second Ezra's chapter eight, verse fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Hey, point blank period. Those plagues and great miseries. Are going to happen in these latter times, which we're in right now, for you people that have been walking in pride. And pride and haughtiness has been at an old time right now. Jake's been worse and worse. And the apostles have been getting on to Eve and the Israelite woman lately because of her haughtiness and pride. And your kingdom's going down, but you're only getting more proud and boastful. You heed the nations who are just window dressing, but you're still prideful. And the time has come where you're going to you're gonna to have to cash in that that tab you've been up for your wickedness, the, being being a feminist mindset, following after the alphabet agenda, beginning with LG, being an adulterer, being a cheat, 
a liar, a scumbag, a dirtbag. The list goes on and on. And you know, it's going to be a beautiful thing to see because it, with, with each passing day, as as we get closer and closer to all hell breaking loose, and we can, and the men of the Lord and hopeful elect can see that these prophecies are coming to pass, and we know that our salvation is going to come thereafter. And we get more sickness in this place. Because if it isn't one thing, if it isn't uh, Mr. Potato Head having a gender or a freaking uh, cross dressers doing story times at school, it's down the line. If this place were allowed to last, and then pedophilia, bestiality would be completely legalized, and who who knows whatever else madness. This place has to be quenched with that fire, that ultimate. Right, and they go on and yeah. say, uh, I'm gonna jump to second this. Sixteen, seventeen, and this is this is what's coming to you people in these latter times we're living in for walking in great pride. It says, "Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days?" And hey, this was Ezra seeing this vision eight hey, thousands of years ago, and at that time he he knew he was a man of God, obviously writing the book, but even him, he saw those visions in that day. He was saying, "Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me?" That's just how bad and horrific these times are going to be. All right, it says the beginning of sorrows, great mourning, the beginning of famines, and great debt, the beginning of wars, and the in the powers shall stand in, in fear. the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Hey, you better pray that Yahweh by has shown you how is on your side in that day. Because if he's not, then then all the this armory of plagues and destruction that Yahweh by Yahweh is about to release is you're going to be completely engulfed in it. And as I said, the beginning of famines and great death. And over the past couple of years, you've had the, the the UN World Food Program talk about how they expect about around, maybe even more now, 300 million people globally to be on the verge of mass starvation, which is going to be worse than that. And hey, there's been talks of chicken shortages and other food shortages in the States. That great that's uh, gonna come from it, and it said the beginning of wars. In the beginning of wars, look at what's going on over in uh, Israel right now. You got rocket attacks, uh, those Amalekites getting killed over there, Palestinians getting retaliated against. A hey, wars and rumors of wars with what's going on over in Eastern Europe with Ukraine, Russia, the United States, and NATO, and of course the the main one we're waiting for war to kick off. With Iran kick off that bigger battle in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Where is this? Uh, this is 19. Behold, famines and plagues, tribulations and anguish as scourges for amendments. But for all these things, they are not turned from their wickedness, nor by nor by a way might scourges. And, and even with all these things going on right now, the beginnings of it right now, what are you seeing? People not repenting. People just waxing worse and worse. And even when you go to Revelation, it says that after the nuclear missiles hit, these evil that do survive still aren't going to repent from their sins. And so it's going to be it's going to be wickedness all the way up until the kingdom when the Israelites are in power hit you in the back with that rod of iron and those whips. So hey, I can just expect things to just continue to escalate and get worse and worse until Abarat Zah, hey, the brothers on this kingdom used to see I came out there get beamed up on these chariots. But you, uh, the only thing you can do right now is have all 10 toes down, pushing this word as hard as you can and doing what you need to do to stay in the good graces of your house. So you can be safe from these famines and, and deaths and wars and pestilences. It says, I got uh, you. <laughs> me too, uh. No, it says, uh, let me get this one real fast. It says, oh, victory shall be good. Victual shall be so good upon earth that they that shall they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even shall even then shall evil for famine and great confusion. And the way things are looking, those victuals are gonna be cheap for much longer. We got hyperinflation coming with all these uh stimulus checks and unemployment benefits and uh the stimulus stimulus packages getting passed around where they're just printing more money, which is bringing down the value of the dollar. That's why it, me and my other brothers on the camera talk about it all the time. You can go to any store here and see that these prices on, uh, from from uh, bathroom goods to toilet paper to food goods are, are slowly creeping up. Yeah. 
you know, dealing with her brother, her brother earlier, and I had seen on the test the brother saying that where he's at in Richmond, I think Richmond, Virginia, gas is ten dollars. Another brother said it's seven dollars where he at, man. So what you gonna do? All right. And the brother's like, yeah, ten dollars. He's like, for real? I'm like you yeah, everybody was asking this, like you said. And what's funny about that is uh, a couple of weeks ago, before they really started talking about the shortages, I was at a gas station, a shell station, and you, you know how they have the little boards up with how much the gas is? Well, there was a glitch on it. It was originally supposed to be two fifty nine a gallon, but it, the glitch made it say eight fifty nine a gallon. But as this brother just said, in some places, you got it in seven dollars. That's the price for real. Kind of no joke. So yeah, that was that was that was prophecy speaking before it happened. And then I've been fine. Oh, I will say one uh, thing too. Even a brother from Atlanta, he he showed that he was driving around the street and, and the gas line was and it looked like for miles and miles long for one gas station, man. You know, even where we at, all the shell gas stations, or some of them have regular. You know, it's it's not. He's mm -hmm. talking to make your ass, man. All right, he got a big agenda, a bigger plan going on. All right, and he in this we coming up on the days where the season Masada, Masada again, man. He gonna starve you out, right? Your water gonna be contaminated, all right? Your gas, you gonna be no. You you got niggas out here that thinking in, in the time they keep coming around, all right? Listening to Lil Uzi Vert, the, the latest uh, NBA where my shit going down. You out to a goddamn mind, man. You niggas is crazy. I mean, those Mad Max movies again with the post-apocalypse. The main thing where they were for in those movies was gas, and people were fighting, butchering, and killing each other over. It. Say, so, hey, I this out. These gas shortages don't want to pop it off, but hey, gas shortages. If this is, they are coming, and you won't be able to just go and be an asshole and and drive up there and fill twenty canisters with gas or fill a, a Walmart bag with gas. People are gonna see that. You're gonna get put to death on the spot. And like you were saying about the siege of Masada, I, I, in the spirit, the hey, the Most High sending a message to you, Jake's talking about a chicken shortage, a chicken wing shortage, because that's what you Jake's go crazy over chicken. So what Jake gonna do? There's no gas. There's no chicken. There's no pineapple big shot. There, there's pretty much nothing you Jake's have, have grown up to do, and you're gonna lose it. And as the brother on the screen below is talking about, what's Jake? Gonna do? What are you um, Babylonians gonna do in general when the drugs run out? When you can't get the prescription drugs, you can't get the, weed, you can't get the ecstasy, the coke, the thing that's keeping you people from completely losing it, you're going to completely lose it. Like uh, Gerald Salente says, when people got nothing left to lose, they lose it. it's about to be all hell and, and pandemonium out here. It's going to be death and pain to the nerve endings. Right. You brothers had some uh, precepts? Yeah, Kaya, you was with me. Same here. 23. Yeah. You fit? Uh, Y'all gonna finish? You want me to read now? Uh, you brothers can get your back in there. This is Ezekiel 7 and 15. It says, The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. Hey, so pretty much. In this time, anywhere you go, if you don't have that that the water that exemption on you, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get busted wide open out here. You're gonna get busted wide open out in these woods, or you're gonna get busted wide open out in these cities. It's gonna be like it says in Amos chapter five, verse eighteen: "A though you may escape a bear, you shall run into a lion." And though that's you what I have. Oh, hey, bring it out then. That's the spirit. This is Amos chapter five, verse eighteen. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? And hey, that goes to a lot of you wacky tacky Christians out here, hey, especially you preppers and you other alternative media people, because as things are getting worse, you can clearly see that things are getting worse. And with your rudimentary understanding of the scriptures, you may know a precept here or there, but then you talk about being in the name of Jesus or God or anything like that. Or you've got eyes that you see. Well, that's clearly not the case because the only people that 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 are going to get through it in that day are the elect, one hundred forty-four thousand, and the rest of the righteous one third. That's one thing I'm 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 so happily looking forward to is you 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 haughty Christians finally getting put in your place. You butchering the scriptures, just 
just being an asshole out here. Here you are for the pride, but you don't know a goddamn thing. Keep going up. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Keep or, went into, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. And so it's going to be terror upon terror. So you're on the run from a, a band of cannibals and your car runs out of gas. And you got to go jump in the water somewhere and wade through some alligators. You may put your kid on your arm and the kid snatched up by an alligator. And you escape that and get picked up by some skinheads and they go to torture you in a basement. Escape that, and you end up in a concentration camp, get experimented on. And if you escape that, if you don't, you're ultimately going to get burned up by those nuclear missiles. So, again, unless you have that market decision for being of that elect number, you're not making it out of this. I got to ask that. Oh, oh, kind of. Right. I'm going to read it. Out. Ezekiel 7 and 15, the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. And he is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning everyone for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water. Okay, kind of point blank period. All hands and knees are going to be feeble on that day but for the anguish and the pain out of here. And again, the only people that are going to make it out is those with that that, uh, that mark of exemption on their foreheads. But, but even they're going to be scared in that day. As I said, and, and the righteous shall scarcely be saved. As, a, as a, the elder apostles and other brothers always went to, even the elect are going to make it out by the skin of their teeth. It's going to get to the point where am I even of that number? Am I going to make it? So that's why you should constantly be pushing this word and being diligent so you can hope to be in the right case when you have a by a shot returns and know everything you possibly could to to be safe from these calamities. got to be a horror movie out here, man. Worse uh -huh. than that. you all going to sit back and make it more terrifying and terrifying, man. Mm -hmm. This is going to be like, you see, the plague's going to get sent, and they ain't going to never stop, man. All right? It's going to be like a travailing woman. And Jake, Jake think it's a game, bro. Jake just think everything is a game, bro. Jake look at everything as, oh, we going to get through it. Or Jake, if you always said Jake, Jake talk, uh, uh, Jake talk like, you know, it happened before it happened. Well, when this is over with, man, I'm going to go back and give me a bill, smoke me a golf. Well, this ain't gonna never get over with, man. Until you be over, until you be ended, you got it, all right? Hey, there is no going back. There is no going yeah. back before the scene one nine of the lockdowns. This is the new normal. It's eventually gonna become the new horror, the new terror. Things are just gonna get progressively worse and worse. And we can, and we clearly saw when the lockdowns first started how how weak you you American were, yeah. and and weak you people globally were. You people out here that like to show that image that you were you you had a you had everything going in the nice car you had the woman the job the clothes I'm gonna say something too kind of. the first the first two weeks of, of, of the C19 all you all you kept seeing was uh, suicide videos of people jumping swine down on buildings and bridges and shit man because it can take the pressure of staying inside damn is that easy? is that simple to make you you know make you kill yourself by staying inside. Mm -hmm. No, people look man, and, and like I said, this is already in full swing of his new world order, man. The grip is getting tighter and tighter, like a bow, like what is it, a, a bow, bow constrictor, mm -hmm. or whatever. My anaconda, yeah, squeezing you, the squeezing the life out of you, man. That's why you people don't know. Let me get it real fast, too. Hey, man. that's that's beautiful. You brought up a bow constrictor, a snake, yeah, it was, the, it was this devil, Esau, a serpent, hey, that that devil. That serpent is about to come down in great wrath because these elites know what it's hitting for. They know their time's almost up, so that's why things are speeding up so they can try to accomplish this devil flow. And in between them, in between where they want to go and where they need to be, 
there's going to be a lot of death and destruction and misery in between. But ultimately, we know it's through the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to visit people for your wickedness. And also, as the brother was saying, during those first couple of weeks, that people commit suicides. And... Hold on real fast. Kind of. His uh, his thing not up there. His video not up there. <clears throat> yeah, something wrong with his video. I mean, go ahead. I can tell. Okay. So but yeah, me back in. a lot of suicides going on, and you had a. I read numbers of people calling into suicide hotlines, an uptick of alcoholics and drug use, and things weren't even that bad. Like, I know for me personally, when these lockdowns happened, it was just like, okay, so the places are closing earlier, but you can still go and get shit from the store. You can still drive around and do all that. But with these simple things, you people were beginning to lose it. It's not much more when, when it's really all, all green lights go. And it's really all hell and pandemonium out here. Fame's really here. Pestilence are really here. You're seeing people die up, up close and live in your face. I got one real fast. This is Luke uh, 19, and I'm going to start at 42. I'm going to start at 41. It says, and when he said, come near the city and, uh, and went over it, saying, if thou hast known even thou, at least... And this the uh, days that things will come my man, things the longer I'm read that again. Saying if if those if thou has known if thou at least this that the days that the things long unto thee peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. Hey, and how was I talking about 70 AD? Back in the past, but we know the Romans chapter 15 that everything written aforetime was written for our learning. So Yahweh is talking to he's talking to his disciples today, and hey, he's talking to you two-thirds through his disciples, it's prophesying on the street. And as it said, if thou hadst known, even now, at least in this thy day, the things which belong into thy peace, coming back under your power, Yahweh, not continuing to wax worse and worse and scoff against his word, and scoff against his men, and keep coming after your daddy the devil, you would have had a chance at repentance to being saved. But as it says, but now they are hid from thine eyes. And that's going into that fame of the word, because that still needs to come to pass. And it is coming to pass. As things get progressively worse, we've been seeing Esau trying to control the narrative with the internet. And Esau knows that this word is the number one threat out here. So soon it's not gonna be out here, and as it says in Ezekiel chapter 33, and when these things come to pass, and when these things begin to come to pass, the okay, I'm still holding that precept too. Sound like this. Kind, kind. And as it said in Ezekiel 33, and when these things shall begin to come to pass, the famines, the pestilences, the war of death, then shall you know that a prophet that been among you, but it's going to be too late. Your teachers are going to be hidden from you, and you're, you're just going to have to keep living at it. And the getting's not going to be good at all. If it's 43, it says, For the days, the days shall come upon thee that thy enemy. This is what's going on. Think about that bold thing, man. Right, closing you in, man. It says thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee around and shit on every side. And hey, that's going into a state of martial law. And hey, even these lockdowns keeping you jakes in on every side. Things get really bad out here. You're gonna have troops on the streets, they blocking you in. And if you want to leave, and you're gonna you're gonna either have to show your uh, your papers. Or you're going to get put down. And we see what's going on in these other countries, in places like New Zealand 
and uh, Quebec in Canada, there are uh, fines for not only not getting the jab, but breaking curfew. A four, five, ten thousand dollars It's being nice right now. What do you think is going to happen when it's even more draconian? It'd be boots on the ground and, and rifles in hands. Well, I think the idea. When they have, when they set up a curfew in the midst of a crisis, you know, any, anybody that's outside, they can consider you a looter. You can get shot, man. Whether it be by a homeowner, whether it be by vigilant, vigilantes, or even the cops, man. And that's just how that's how how real shit's gonna get. And Katrina was a was a perfect example for for what this get to the point to when this when Jacob's trouble, people getting gunned down in the streets, people being uh kept in blockades people getting raped and butchered it, it's nothing good coming right and shall lay d even hit the ground and die children's within d and they shall not leave even one stone on another because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation i said they shall lay thee even with thy children to the ground a hey, kid saying you're a mother or father, I'm gonna put you down. If you say I'm a pregnant woman that needs help, they're gonna put you down. I'm a Christian. I'm a <laughs> you niggas gonna say that. That's a lot of you niggas gonna say I'm a Christian. But... I voted I voted for uh Yeah. And them them, them two two threes gonna show you how Christian they is too, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're gonna show you how much black lives matter. Man. That's right. And it said they shall not leave one stone unturned. Hey, they're gonna be searching everything. You jakes think you got a good hiding split, a good hiding place. If you have by a shum, you have not deal with it. They're gonna find that place with the ground. And why? Because as I said at the end, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. Here you have the men of the Lord, the teachers of the Lord, hidden in a corner, preaching to you, telling you what's going on and what you need to do to be saved. But you're continuing to wax worse and worse and become super scoffers and super demons. So as it says in Proverbs chapter 1, when that calamity comes upon you, the Most High, hey, the Most High is not going to hear you, but he's actually going to laugh at you. And it's going to be no different with the men of the Lord. He'll be laughing at you too. Your precepts of Machia. Okay, I got a couple of them. All right. This is Jeremiah 5 and 11. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me. Except the most high. Hey, that's yeah. a, I'll go ahead. I was going to say, and that's the that's the brother Jeremiah speaking. He's saying the house of Jews and the house of Israel has dealt treacherously against me. He looked where Jeremiah went to, and they scoffed him. They threw him into a miry pit. They got they, they threatened him with death. Hey, no different than what they're doing at the end of the Lord today. Coming up saying they're going to clear the blood, the truth. We're going to call the cops on you. The list goes on and on. When you read about Jeremiah, he was so vexed that he was asking the Most High to kill kill Israelites, and and that's the the sentiment. Two thirds. It's much better for you to just be in the spirit world than to be a, a being a, a plague and a virus walking around. Come, twelve. They have belied the Most High, and said, "It is not He. Neither shall evil come upon us. Neither shall we see sword nor famine." Hey, Jake being settled on his leaves, as it says in Second Peter's, hey, we have heard about these things from the times of old, and nothing's happened yet. That's a, that's a sentence. And we heard about our grandparents talking about the, the apocalypse and the book of Revelation and the MOB. But look, nothing's happened. They continue to go on as they did in the past. Hey, we're in the beginning of sorrows right now, and it's only going to get more sorrowful actually living in those times I got it. well real quick when this is uh, 12 it says remember that it will not be long in coming it says then that the covenant of the grave is not shown unto thee that is not is not far off man the great man all right because these these people here they depend on resources of, of the government whether it be gas these niggas need gas all they want to do is drive around and build something Cut motherfuckers off. The hell they going at? Especially getting around the time of the summer. All this, all this, what you see is strategically happening, right? According to the agenda, man. Right, boxing you in. 
Yeah, them stores out here that we different brothers than men in stores. You know, they don't know who we are, what we into. But they they'll talk about how they can feel something's finna happen. How they gotta hide a whole spot. You ain't gonna get, you ain't gonna get three blocks down the street, man. All right? You Jake talk about how you got one clip and one and one gun and you hold it down your house, man. But the shooter said we're gonna be at two. Man. Wandering around, man. You know, Jake. Jake mine is all boxed in. You might not go fuck the goddamn the, 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 the square corner. It's been playing too much Call of Duty. Really, really, and truly, man. Jake really be playing too much Call of Duty, man. That shit. That shit got your mind all jacked up. All right. Man, that's cool. <laughs> People talking about a hiding place an hour away. You're not gonna get to it. Yeah, just watch that movie, The Road. Hey, uh, they were they were they were trying around and found a house and found a bunker full of everything in it. I bet those people thought that when things went down, they were going to get to their bunker and live God. safely. <laughs> that wasn't the case. God, Jay, you can jump over to a building with a with an armor helmet on, man. That's only the video game. <laughs> you, you think you're gonna get revived? Somebody gonna see you on the ground like on a uh, war zone and come revive your ass? Hell. <laughs> Yeah, stick some adrenaline in you or something. They did that. Jake, Jake. You don't even know how to put the, the you know, you know, they put the thing in their arm. And, man, you ain't, come the, on, man. The stem shot? Yeah. Yeah, stem shot. Yeah, adrenaline. Good. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Pug G and shit, man. Yeah. Niggas, niggas crazy, man. Jake thinks he's going to be leaning outside Ooh. of a holding two pistols. Yeah. Just... Uh, <laughs> partners driving in the car and, and swinging it and, and, and uh, drifting it while they're hitting everybody on this block. Yeah, you, you think you're going to be a uh, competition out here or some shit right in that day. Yeah, down wicking it, man. Shit, man. What you about to say? Hey, niggas, niggas putting bags of gas in they... What happened? Hey, niggas, put, niggas putting bags of gas in they... Tr- Gas was bad. Oh, with, you can't. You, you kind of cutting up. Yeah, you cutting up real. Bad. No, I hear what. I'm I know he's he, he trying to say, but it's, it's chopping up hard up in the middle. Kind. Yeah, he's trying to say that you know they got they got people out here dumb. They actually pumping gas. <laughs> gas is around here. They putting gas in goddamn <laughs> plastic bags and shit, man. Putting, <laughs> tying them up in the nine and putting them in the back of the goddamn SUV. Yeah, we're gonna show it, man. We we can prove what we saying, man. This is from down here. This is the brother at the no. gas station, man. Look at this shit, man. You know, we we can back up everything we saying. Hold on. You can turn it sideways. Okay. Turn the that's some music. It's like a little bright, huh? Oh yeah, I turn it all the way off because you know I don't get no copyright. Okay. I'm turn it back a bit. Funky now. We in the what? y'all can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Not only was they storing up the the gas, it was wasting the gas too, man. So and you know what Jay gonna do? Jay gonna light a fucking cigarette, man, and forget that the gas is on him, man. Didn't bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit. Press play, right? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. That's a woman at the gas station down here, man. She pumping gas in a plastic <laughs> bag, man. And you dumb ass women, you won't get, get team rolling that day with your dumb ass, man. <laughs> How do you dumb ass women out here that don't know what the fuck going on? You don't get steam roll. Molly All right. Oh, man. Star drag, mm-hmm. man. Well, watch this. Watch this. Look at this. At the bottom of the watch this. Watch, watch this. Yeah. Look, look at look look look. You see all of it wasting out. There's madness, man. You see what women ain't supposed to be outside. You see? <laughs> look, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Shit. You think look. she throwing away garbage, man? Look at it, dumbass. Look. Look at this <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> That's today, man. That's why a woman ain't supposed to be making decisions. A woman ain't supposed to be making decisions, bro. Hey, that, 
Yeah, that's what that's what we're dealing with. You people. Hey. And you know the children in the car seat. You know she got the two babies in the car seat in the car. I already know that. She got the windows up and everything. <laughs> windows up. <laughs> then about to light a cigarette. <laughs> she gonna light a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Then another just got Buku bad stored in his SUV on the picture. Right under it, man. Just, just buku, buku bags of gas, bro. Tripping bag. Gas tanks. Bags. You got it out. And that was a, a Moabite doing that in the video. But a lot of you yeah. takes a, a retarded like that. You, <laughs> you, you, you don't know your nice. ass from your elbow. You, you got a, you got some other nations out here preparing for the things to come. But takes are continually just fucking off and, and eating Cheetos with the chicken wings stuck to your bag. A lot of you jakes just, a lot of jakes just have a lot only condiments in their fridge. So it's gonna be really bad when these calamities hit. <laughs> Who cares? Hey, just like Jeremiah was vexed by by you wicked jakes. Hey, we're vexed by it. And again, in that Proverbs chapter one, we're gonna laugh at you when these calamities hit, and rightfully so. It should be a shame to see people be this stupid and dumbed down out here. For real, man. Anybody had a pre Yeah, I had one. If not, could uh, somebody hold for me Jeremiah, cha no, Zephaniah chapter 12, and then jump down to verse 14 and read down to verse 17? Got it. Why do you? Okay. This is Luke 17 and 26. It says, And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. And we got a perfect visualization of that Luke 17 just about every weekend down here at the camp in New Orleans. Hey, we're out here just like Noah was preaching in the past and, and, we'll, and, you'll, you, and you'll see like a, a wedding procession go on, some lights walking down the street, waving the flag, Jake's playing some brass music off, off, off key, holding the umbrellas, just complete madness. And said so that they were, they were eating and drinking and giving and marrying at the time. As we read back in that second Ezra 16, all these scourges are sent for amendment, but the people are still not hearkening unto them. You see the mass shortages are coming, the fame is coming. You've got the men of the Lord preaching out there, but can, but people are continue are continuing to, to wax haughty and just be more proud, especially uh. two thirds of you. the the last ones to know that anything's going on. You act like you know everything of what's going on. Uh. It says likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat. They drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. And it's going to be no different than this spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah we're living in right now. Hey, things were going on, people weren't taking heat. And then that fire and brimstone hit back then, and these nuclear missiles are going to hit today, and you people are going to have to sit there and stew in that fire. Kind of says, in that day he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember, remember Lot's wife. And it's going to be a hard thing for the men of the Lord in that day as well. Uh, like we said earlier, even the righteous shall scarcely be saved. And as that brother said, hey, if, you, if you're not in your house, don't go back for your stuff. Pretty much, and that stuff can go into uh, the goods in your house, or, or a woman in your house, hey, your children, even, a, even a, a, a woman that's not really giving you hell. Wherever you are in that day when shit goes down, you just got to keep moving forward and have faith that the both sides can get you through it. And hey, if it's meant for you to be with you in that day, he's going to get her through it. But that's the spirit we got to be in in that day. As this brother always brings out, you got to be in that Conan spirit 
you know, as Chris is going forward and seeing seeing the bodies in the in the misery on the left hand and the right hand, but staying on that that spiritual narrow path go, going forward, following after your power and that you're gonna make it. What's your, what the movie was? Can't you gotta leave something? Heat. Yeah, like the movie Heat, man. And then and it's a it's a scene in there when they were sitting at the table, and the guy was the actual cop talking to the, the actual guy that was robbing banks. You know, trying to tap into himself, and he was like, "Well, you know, I I pro I prime myself to be like this. If if it's anything that I'm myself into, if I can't leave it, drop it in, in the sand. You know, uh, help me out." He said something about uh, uh, pretty much, if you can't leave leave the things you you care about in the second year, you're screwed. Yeah, he was, he was going to leave to the, leave it to the woman, you know. That's how you gotta be, man. You gotta get in, in a Conan state of mind, man. Cause you're gonna see some shit. You're gonna see some things going on. You're gonna have near misses on your life. Spare us in that day, man. This ain't gonna be no cakewalk. As some men think it's gonna be. You got some shit in my head. I don't even know what the fuck going on. So I don't think any Jacob trouble ain't gonna happen, man. You know? But when it happens, you're gonna, you're gonna get caught up in it very good, man. Mm-hmm. Mate. We're in the south stage of Jacob Trouble now. Nah, can't, can't. Hey, Jake don't go with his dad. Huh? I'm just ain't agreeing with the brother. Hey, in the beginning, right now. And especially you, Jake's are gonna get caught up because that's this, this is who this whole truth is for. Hey, ultimately, for the elect, the rest of the nation is hearing it. Yeah, Jake don't even know that the Middle East is. Really, right now, man, them 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 gutter rats up there, them pepsi, they they at war right now. You got you got them being used. Yeah, I just seen them turn out shot shot rockets on a goddamn whole apartment building, knock the whole apartment building down, man. How many of you come here and ready for your major your, the major building live and, and, and in the flesh? You can see a whole building come out with people in it, people in the apartment come in the apartment sleeping. You just see the whole building come out. You know that man, and Malay- uh all messed up it's gonna mess a lot of you people up man because you haven't prepared yourself you know your faith ain't where it's supposed to be your mind ain't even where it's supposed to be believe that america is gonna last forever man all right you believe that this shit is all about cook you know uh cookies and cream and and, and, and strawberry uh and ice, strawberry icing and strawberry cakes and shit man you know, it's it's always the one. It's a it's a one guy. The other guy don't give a. He don't even know what the hell going on. That's known what the hell going on, man. Which one is you? That's beautiful. You said three people there. Two that didn't know what's going on, mm-hmm. and one that knew what it was going on. One third didn't know what's going on, while two thirds don't know what's going on. And that's why you're gonna get caught out here with, with your ass completely in the breeze. Mm-hmm. There's a percentage of people that saying, where's the word of the Lord? Let it come down. What percentage of people you think that is in the scriptures, man? <laughs> Obviously, they got to be what? The, the the Israel that's not of the Most High, man. The Israel that's of the Most High is uh is um dreading the woeful day because they know what it is, man. They know what it is. They, the Lord have given them a prelude through words, all right, through scriptures to let them know what's coming, man. But two thirds of our people, they don't care. They say, "Where's the word of the Lord? Let it come now." Are Can you I, serious? <laughs> you that one out, huh? Yeah, that's I, I was wanting a brother to get that one. That's a, yeah, that's, that's Jeremiah. Yeah, that's Jeremiah uh, seventeen and sixteen. I get it for y'all. It, it says, um, "This is Jeremiah seventeen and six fifteen. Uh-huh. Behold, they say unto me." Where is the word of Yahweh? Does it all caps? Let it come down. Hey, point blank period. Back in that second Peter's, a lot of you Jakes are in that spirit of we've we've been hearing about this from in the past. Or y'all been talking about this for five or ten years and nothing has happened. They let me let I'll I'll see it when I believe it. It will best believe you're gonna see it, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna smell it, you're gonna touch it, and you're gonna die by it. Yeah, it says, as for me, so this is what Jeremiah is saying when the wicked people asking, where's the word of the Lord? Is you serious? 
That's a day of dark clouds, gloominess. The men mm -hmm. of the Lord is trying to prepare themselves the best that they can for that day. All right? They they not hastening it. They hastening a day, but also they, they, they respecting the day of the Lord because of the respect they have towards their maker. It says, as for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee. Neither have I desired the woeful day. So, hey, Jeremiah, like, I, the day of the Lord is not desirable, man. All right? Now, yeah, it must come. This is the only way we must enter into the kingdom of heaven. But that day, who can who can withstand? Who, 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 can, who can behold it, man? Who can look upon it? Who can live within it, man? All right? It says, thou hey, knowest it. Back in that, that second Ezra 16, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver yep. me in those days? Hey, because all these these uh, these prophets saw these visions th thousands of years ago and knew that they were prophets at the time. They also understood the reincarnation and, and when they came back, they, they wouldn't have had the, the knowledge of previous things. They would have just been in a situation like we're in right now not knowing who we are or if we're of that number or not. So they're diligently hearkening to do what they can to be a part of that number. It says, I have not, de neither have I desired that woeful day. Thou knowest, but that which came out of my lips was right before thee, which the things that are coming out the men of the Lord lips right now is right before the Lord. It says, be not a terror unto me. Thou art my hope in a dead evil. In the midst of all this shit going down, you know, if you Lord willing to hold strong, this is a uh, uh, first of East Street in 19. It's for a big battle standing not in multitudes of hosts of in the host, but strength coming from heaven. Uh, they come against us in much pride and destroy us in our wives and, our and to spoil us. This is the point right here. It says, but we fight for our lives and our laws, wherefore the Lord himself will overthrow them before I face. And as for you, uh, and as for you, for ye not, and it says, as for you, be not afraid of them. It speaks for itself. Hey, we're fighting for our laws and our lives right now, doing what we can to, to have that protective hedge over us for that day of Jacob's show to come. And Most High's gonna fight for us in that day. Many brothers have accounts of dreams that they've had where they were caught in tough situations, but the Most High got them out of it. And then we have examples through these scriptures uh, in the past that were in tough situations. And it's gonna be no different as it was back then as it is today. You just gotta have that faith that you're gonna make it out of the situation. Somebody actually has see psalms 91 start at verse one read down to verse eight because that backs up what the elders brought out in first maccabees they put on the trust in you how about by shimmy i was shy and he's gonna overthrow him himself man all right and lord what is the says uh, i believe it please ask he's, he's gonna, yes sir rock 25 that, that pleases the most high to see a man enjoy his children and also to see the downfall of the enemies, man. And look at our eyes. Behold it, man. Our eyes. You know, the, it's no greater thing for our eyes, man, to see our enemies go down, all right? And triumphing and, and, and stepping on us and go down to actually nothing. Lord, man. All right? And, you know, it's no greater thing to actually see the first chain being pulled out, all right, of a chest and, and devils up in chains, man. All right, in the start of you see the start of this thing. Hey, come on, step up. Clap, you're putting it on them, man. All right, these people, these devils you've been reading about, like your Evelyn and your Rockefellers, your, your, your Bill Gateses, all these people that have been, been working to the detriment of our nation, you're going to finally get to see them hey, in the flesh, in those new spiritual like my elder brother said. Uh, slapping those cold, heavy chains on them and telling them to get to work. And there's not, yeah, go ahead, my bad. And there's not a goddamn thing to do about that. It's their time to get a foot in their ass. I'm, I'm waiting for that surreal moment, man. You know, you know what that surreal moment is? It's like when you see your, 
you know, back in the world, you seen your your, your top celebrities the joy into the world. You see, you see the uh, Michael Jackson. You know how it's like you look at the nigga, you can't believe that you seen him. It's like time and stop. Sit and slow down. It's not gonna be the Evelyn, the Evelyn Rothschilds of the world, man. The Bill, the Bill Scam Gates of the world, man. We get them devils, the Felches. It's gonna be like it's time to stop, even for them. Okay, <laughs> he ain't making it. Oh, that nigga ain't making it, man. Who draws all of him? Damn. <laughs> yeah, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. A, even them. They ain't. They ain't gonna come out them damn holes looking like Saddam. They pulled out that damn hole with this rusty mouth. Yeah, he was all rusty, dust all around his mouth and shit. Dirt on it, rocks on his nose. <laughs> he devil, he devil going, you going to get it, man. When you look at that image, it was a Jake pulling Saddam Hussein out of that hole. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be a, 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 a Superman Jake pulling you rock, you Rockefellers and you, you DuPont, you Indians out of that hole. Yeah, man. For us, you Clintons, you Bushes of the world, you're going you gonna to get got, man. Mm -hmm. I got that. All right. I know that song's not in one. Uh, I got that. I got that. I got something for that too, y'all. Can I? What you saying, bro? Okay, go bring it up. This Job 12 and 17 is a few precepts on why you so just hold that down, bro. It says, yeah. He leaded counselors away spoiled and make it the judges fools. He loosened the bonds of kings and girded their loins with a girdle. He leaded princes away spoiled. And overthrow the mighty. He remove yeah. it away the speech. You got that's plain, man. Again, you don't even know breaking down that, man. That's plain. Yeah. It's right. more. He about a job it's getting busy. It it's not even just it's not even just the the uh the, the elite bankers. All you nations all you nations had a part in taking us down, man. Every last one of you. All right. All right, that's why you read the scriptures. There's a judging for Moab. Judging for it's a judging from Edom. Because all you had, all you nations had us in your possession, even you top world leaders, man. This is, um, I got one to back down what you said. Real quick. This is, uh, this is the one I was talking about. This is first Maccabees Beast 2. And it's a little, it's small. 10. It says, What nation has not had a part in her kingdom and gotten her sports? What about us? Y'all. Hey, from the times of judges all the way up until today, every single one of you heathen nations has had a peace in afflicting the nation of Israel. And that's that Psalm that you've all conferred together to take advantage and our power. That's why you don't see uh, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, having a seat that you win, not even being acknowledged as the Israelites. You think these average Joe heathens out here don't know what's going on. Let's believe that their 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 higher up families and their royalties know what it's hidden for. So they're continuing to try to keep it down. But hey, they're seeing this take place before their eyes. And hey, that's what the other nigga that just died? The, the, uh, Philip. The prince, the prince, prince Philip. Yeah, that Prince Philip. That racist dog. You know, he had, he had about them, you know, that, that girl having a black baby, you know. He that's a, I seen some shit from him back in the the, the, the forties and well, he was around the fifties and forties and shit. He that was a racist. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he know he know who Jake is, man. He don't even want to shake you niggas' hands, man. Mm -hmm. just remember, remember Bush, Bush uh, no, no, Clinton. Yeah. Uh, Bush went over the uh, son, the son Bush went over there to Africa and shook you know Jake's hands and shit. And when Clinton was turning around, he went wipe his hand. <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a video of that shit, man. Oh shit! I don't like you niggas, man. Even Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler had the uh, had the Olympics in the time of Adolf Hitler. Being like, Jackie Owens won all that shit, man. He didn't want to shake his hand, man. He could. Right? They got footage of <laughs> they got footage of Hitler when when Jackie Owens won. He 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 like jumped up and had a a a, 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 a shocked look on his face because he couldn't believe it. He looks so down on you niggas that there's no way they could have beaten the, the, the Aryans. The Edomites weren't even the Aryans anyway. When we were down with the brothers in North Carolina, we went to the white man's Bible, and Esau was letting you know how he feels about you, Jakes. He called you the Black Rock. You know? The Black Plague. The Black Plague. Pretty much. Hey, man. <laughs> hey.
Hey, but, but like like the elder them said, man, these kings and these higher ups think they're gonna just sit back and just touch the apple of the Lord eye, and ain't nothing gonna come back on them, man. They just think they're gonna sit in their high palaces, palaces, all right, in the rocks and in the mountains, all right, and nothing is gonna be done unto them, man. They high and proud. It says just Job twelve, and um, let's start with seventeen again. It's all good. He leaded counselors away, spoiled and make it the judges fools. He loosened the bonds of kings and girded the loins with a girdle. He leaded princes away, spoiled and overthrew the mighty. He removed it away the speech of the trusty and take it away the understanding of the age. He poured contempt upon princes and weakened the strength of the mighty. He covered deep things out of darkness and bring it out light, the shadow of death. This the point. He increased the nations and destroyed them. He enlarged the nations and straightened them again. He taken away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and called them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. They grope in the dark without light and he making them to stagger like a drunken man. A point, a point period. That what that said is that the most high is the one that sets them down just to knock them down. Hey, what did the Most High do with ancient Pharaoh? He hung his heart and, and, and built him up. Do anything just so his fall would be that much greater. And everybody remembers the Exodus to this very day. And it's no different with you heathens, chiefly you heathens. The Most High has built you up to look like the most unstoppable nation on the face of the earth, just to show how much, how great and quick your fall is going to be. How significant you were! It was the Most High that set up your kingdom, and the Most High that down. said, "Yahweh it's going to take one hour for Yahweh to take away Esau's rulership. All those hundreds of years of planning and weapons, and so-called going to the moon." I got one real fast. This is uh, Second Maccabees uh, seven and thirty-one. It says, "Art and thou that has been the art of all witches against the Hebrews." Will be will be suffered because of our sins. All right, and thou that and thou that and, and though thou livest, living, Lord, be angry with us a little while for our, chast, for our chastising and correction. Yet shall he be at one again with his servants. But thou, O godly man, and of all other most wicked, most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, nor puffed up. Of uncertain lifting up thy hands against the servants of Yahweh, for thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of the Almighty Yahweh, who said all things. As it says, uh, slackness for the Most High bringing about judgment, it doesn't mean the Most High is not going to get around to you. Hey, you the Most High allows you to build up your type of witness just, just so it can be justified. Down. And as I said in that Maccabees, a wicked man did not escape. And also that we, we're in this situation for our own transgressions. And we don't. So we're paying for it right now. And that time to where our, our punishment and chastisement is at an end, and yours is about to begin. As lamentations, you're about to get a cup, a cup of slavery and, and, and plagues. And all that, and you're gonna have to drink that cup to the dregs, just like the nation of Israel had to. Right, man. You know we don't. Uh, you know we don't have no hope in this king, even uh, even unto death, man. You know, you know even unto death, the scripture says, you know we don't we don't really uh, we don't really care, man. Lives until the death, as it says in Revelation 12. Right. I'm looking at one right here, kind of real real good. In the Maccabees, Maccabees 14, one of the sons said, all right, we have that hope hope in there too, man, even unto death. You know, but Lord will, the Lord uh, give us his salvation. He says, so, so when he was ready to die, he said, thus it is good to death by men to look to look for hope from Yahweh to be raised up again by him. That's revelation right there, man. Right? God has... Thou has have no redemption up to life, man. You know, and it backs that up in Isaiah 14. It says the, the grave and the worms 
they meet you at your fall, that these other kings, these other heathen nations will be able to go back to their rest. But as for you, you shall have no memorial and you're going to be cast out. Because, right. because ultimately, all these heathen nations are going to go into slavery for a thousand years. But those other nations are going to be able to go back and, and live peacefully, though under our subjection. After that, the Edomites are all going to be gathered up this plane of fire and, and nobody's going to be none the wiser about it they're going to be happy about it it says in isaiah 14 that the earth is going to be enjoyed right? when the wicked are finally taken out. Oh, con, con. uh if uh any other brothers didn't have any precepts we'll probably close it out in that psalms 91 i got it for you all right you, oh, you got it Oh, oh, you, one through eight. Psalms 91 verses one to eight. All right. This is Psalm 91 and one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Keep going. I will say of the Most High, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. And that's what I would like to do. Knowing that the Most High is our refuge and our power. And in that day, if we stay diligent on our watch, he's going to stay diligent on his and be that, that mighty man, that, that unstoppable force against our enemies and guide us through all these calamities we're about to go through. Verse 3 so, Surely, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. Kind, you, you, and if I can add to that, follow up, you know, being Esau, you them too, you know, you them follow. Four, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Yeah, as in verse three, he shall deliver thee from the from the noise and pestilence, all these different traps that Esau Edom set up to catch up the hopeful elect. Hey, we're going to get out of it. We're going to get number. And then as it said in verse 4, he's going to hide us. That's what we're ultimately hoping for, to get beamed up onto those chariots and be able to stand on that sea of glass and see this wicked kingdom, Babylon, that whore, get hit with those 200 million and see what the what the reward of the wicked is. is. Verse 5, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Okay. Six, nor the pestilence that walk of in darkness, nor for the destruction of that waste of that noonday. Keep going up. Seven, a thousand shall fly, fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Hey, a thousand shall fall at thy right hand and, and, and ten thousand on thy left. But none of it shall touch you. We're going to be on that spiritual straight and narrow going forward, not, uh, not being touched by the, the pestilence as it says, or the terror by night or ultimately that arrow that flies by the day. Those nuclear missiles when they're shot to the ends of the earth, because like I said, our ultimate goal is to be on that chariot, standing on that sea of glass, seeing those missiles completely wash this place of its wickedness. Verse 8, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And the reward of the wicked, they see, as the brother was uh, talking about in Sirach or Ecclesiastes 25, one of the greatest things to see is the devil. To see Esau, Edom, and these other heathen nations, his pride getting taken down, their rulership completely destroyed, and then them being under our feet for a thousand years, building giving us back our riches us doing double unto them as they did unto us and if you're a if you're a sincere, sincere out there that should be what you're diligently hoping for and that it comes quickly though we have to go through the tears we know that if we go through that narrow pass we're going to see that great city in the end. did uh any brothers have any uh point you wanted to make no, uh, and so with this uh, Shabbat, 
Steer Akim were edified. And again, as always, we're going to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and the millstone who ruled and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akim out there, pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the world. May you recommend until the end. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom.